for a long time in my life, I think body positivity has been a very hard thing for me personally, but I feel like I've gotten to a point now where I actually like love my body and it took me a long time because I was always surrounding myself with people that didn't love their bodies, which in turn made me not love mine. Not even because like I tried to like believe what they believed. It was just subconsciously I was surrounding myself with these other people that in turn changed my whole mental state without me even realizing it. So then I realized, oh, I should probably cut out this one friend that's being super toxic and uh, and just not good in general. And because of that, my life has been way better for it. I've been way more mentally sound. I've been way more at peace, I would say, for sure. Especially because like, I'm gonna be real. Like there's, there's, a, there's like one area of my body that I'm, that I'm always trying to focus on whenever like I exercise or something. And that's like my chest area, right? Cause like I see these guys, you know, they got like ripped abs. I don't really care about the abs so much. It's just more so like the, the, like the flat chest area, you know, with guys, it's like, you know, when you see a hot guy at a beach and like, I'm straight, but I can admit when a guy's hot, let's be real here. See those guys at the beach or dude, I saw a guy mowing yesterday. Oh, I was riding my bike. Cause that's what I like to do. Maybe I'll make a video about bike riding why I love it so much. But so there's this guy he was, and that's the other thing. I want that confidence, but I'm not there yet, but I'll hopefully get there one day. So this guy was <laughs> mowing shirtless on his lawn. He, he's got a, he got a nice body. I, I'll admit, you know, he's a guy. He's pretty handsome. I mean, it's not going to lie. I'm, I'm just saying I, I can I can admit when people are hot, preferably guys, if, it, if I admit a girl's hot, Lauren would uh, kill me with this gun. But um, yeah, so anyways. That was a tangent, but anyways, no, it's like he has the confidence I don't have just yet. I'm working up to it, but basically, like he's he's got he got a nice chest, a nice chest, you know. It's not flabby at all, and I'm very particular about my chest. If I look flabby whatsoever, I feel like a total, like, garbage pile, <laughs> which is so stupid. But I also realized recently that like everybody's body is different, so you can't expect to look like somebody else because that's not their body; that's your body. Plus. If you want certain aspects like not a flabby chest, then you got to figure out ways to make your body that way in your own unique ways. And I think it sounds really weird, but I think I've accidentally found my way, which sounds so counterproductive, but it's actually weirdly kind of helped either, the, either that or my I've rewired my brain somehow. So what I do every day, I exercise for two hours a day. Now I know on service, you're like, I can't do that. It's really simple in the mornings. So probably in like an hour or two, I will go on a morning walk for about an hour, listen to music, might listen to a podcast. Um, yeah, so then I'll do that in the mornings. You know, I'll come back, take a shower, do a bit of work. And then in the afternoon, like three or four, I will ride my bike for an hour because I love riding my bike so much. It's my favorite way to exercise. It's an easy way to trick your brain into exercise without feeling like you're exercising, in my opinion. But so that's what I do. And been doing that every day for well I mean besides the trip but I've been doing that every day for about like a month and the results I've seen personally are weird because I feel like I'm no longer like flabby here and I'm like I usually am because I stay inside and I sit down on my desk and I work every day so to notice that and I was like oh well that's weird like I I feel way more confident about my body in general and I think that's also important whether I have that or not, I think it is important to love your body. And you know, like even before that, like I was getting to a point where I'm like, okay, well, obviously I have days where I'm like, e. but for the most part, generally, I'm pretty good about loving myself. And that's very important to do. Because uh, in my mind, the only person that can truly love yourself is yourself because you are yourself. So you can fully appreciate yourself. Now, obviously, you should have friends that appreciate you too. But I think it's good to be very independent and very mentally sound by yourself. So you don't need other people. Although to be fair, you do need other people for the sake of, you know, interaction. <laughs> Cause that's, yeah, <laughs> I still need to, you know, talk and hang out with people. Otherwise I get big sad, but yeah. So I think we're going to do more of these short little form stuff on the side channel, because honestly, I think it'll be good and it'll let me create content without feeling this weird awkward pressure every time I like I want to make a main channel video um plus it'll give me something to do in the short term while I work on something in the long term that won't take 
too long because I don't want to waste a month of time on a video like this. Like it doesn't make a lot of sense. So yeah, I think that's it. So thank you everybody for watching. Appreciate you. Uh, Bazi positivity is important. Love yourself. You hear me? Love yourself.